Thank you for choosing MyPPX, a powerful and feature-rich IPPBX for your business. In this video, we will demonstrate a quick installation operations with MyPPX U100. First of all, you need to plug one end of network cable into the LAN port and the other end to a switch. Next, connect the power cord to the power supply and switch on MyPPX. You will see the LED indicators turn on. When indicators start blinking, the device is completely started. Now connect the analog phones, PSTN and BRI lines to the corresponding ports. The default IP address of my PBX is at segment 5. So if the computer's IP is in a different segment, we need to change that to the same network segment. The computer is all set. Then we open a web browser and enter the default IP address of MyPBX and access the login page. The default username and password is admin and password. Choose a language and log in. After that, click LAN settings and change the IP address of MyPBX according to your local network environment. Click Save and Apply Changes. Remember to reboot the system to make the changes take effect. When my PBX is rebooting, we can change the IP address of the computer to its original address. Now enter the new IP address in address bar and log in. Under General Preferences, you could change the extensions range if you need to. Enter the extension configuration page. In this page, you could create, edit, and delete individual or multiple VoIP extensions. Since the extension range has been changed previously, the default extensions out of this range must be deleted first. Click Add Extension, and you could change the settings for this new extension.
click Add Bulk Extensions, you could create a maximum of 50 extensions at one time. For example, we want to create 10 zip extensions starting from 8001. Click the Create button and Done. To configure those extensions, check them all and click Edit the Selected Extensions button to change the settings. You could also add VoIP extensions with Form Provisioning feature. My PBX supports DHCP and PNP provisioning method. In this video, we will take DHCP method as an example. The supported phones are eLink, Cisco, Polycom, Panasonic, Grandstream, and more. Before provisioning, you need to disable the DHCP feature in your router. Then enable the DHCP server feature in My PBX and configure the relevant IP settings. My PBX DHCP server is on. Now connect the IP phone to the network. Click the refresh button under not configured phone. The IP phones in this local network will appear. For the IP phones with the same model, you could check the box before them and edit those phones in bulk. Choose the phone type and click the MAC field to configure individual phones, the line and extension. The rest of the phones are configured like this. Save the settings and reboot the phones. The IP phones have been initialized. You can see they are now available in the line status page. They have been registered to my PBX. You can make internal calls with the IP phones now. Extension 8001 calls Extension 8007. The letter rings. You could pick up the phone to answer. Extension 8007 could also reach 8001. In extension configuration page, you could also edit the analog extensions. To change the extension number, you need to delete the original extension and then click Edit.
You can now use FX extension 8200 to call SIP extension 8007. The letter rings. Pick up the phone to answer. Extension 8007 could also dial extension 8200 to make internal calls. MyPBX supports physical trunks like PSTN, GSM, CDMA, UMTS, E1, and BRI. Enter physical trunk page. Generally, you could keep the default settings. Next, configure the outbound route. There is the default outbound route. The default dial pattern is 9 dot and strip 1 digit. This means when making external calls, you need to press 9 first and then external number. If you want to dial the number without any prefix, you could change the dial pattern to X dot and leave the strip field blank. Next, move the extensions that have the dial lot permission to the selected box. and move the trunk that you want to use to the right. The outbound route only applies to the selected extensions and trunks. Test if the configuration works with extension 8007. Dial a mobile number The mobile phone rings. Enter inbound route page. Let's edit the default route. Move the trunk that you need to the right. Only the selected trunk will go through this route. Configure the rest of the settings as you need. Different destinations could be set according to time. For example, the destination could be IVR. Use a mobile phone to dial the trunk in this route. Follow the IVR and dial extension 8007. Extension 8007 rings. Pick up to answer the call.